Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat, and I'm here today to work on our altered book. Sorry I wasn't around Friday, have had loads of things going on, I don't even know. Life has just been kind of nutty. And I worked on the cover for this most of the day, which I've talked about before, it's really hard for me to film working on these covers because it pretty much took me most of Friday to do the cover for this. Um, because I do, you know, I place things and, you know, replace things and then I stitch stuff on and I, I'm back and forth to the sewing machine and whatever. So anyway, <clears throat> this is what I came up with. I had this lovely piece of pink kind of sparkly fabric and it'd be kind of hard to tell if it's sparkly. There we go that Allie gave me. So thank you so much, Allie. It was very perfect to use it with her um, digi. And then I put a piece of lace over the top of it. And then this is a hanky here and a doily and a button. And then there's a cameo and a little bow I tied onto a bulb pin, just pinned on there. And then this lace, this isn't vintage lace, this is from Hobby Lobby. These pieces are all, I don't know about vintage or anything, or like antique, but they're they're vintage, these ones. Um, this hanky and the doily and that. Um, a lot of those were uh, gifted to me from Robin or um, I may have gotten something from, I'm not even sure, you know, Nan sent me some stuff and... I don't know. I've gotten quite a few lovely things, so thank you guys so much, all of you, for sending things to me <clears throat> that I can play with. So anyway, this this is the cover, and then I did um, Sorry Silk, and it's stitched into the cover as well, and then the whole thing is glued onto the book. And I use tacky glue. I know most people use fabric tack, but I really like tacky glue. That's just my own thing, but use what you like the best. And then when you open it, I flipped the um, cover around here so you can definitely see the sparkliness here and added a piece of lace. And so this is a, a pocket. So it kind of harkens to like a book cover, but it doesn't come off. So um, yeah, both front and back have that pocket there. So that's what I did all day Friday. <clears throat> And that's why I didn't come in. Plus, like I said, I've just had loads of other things I have had to get done. So I uh, did work on it a tiny bit this weekend when I had a minute here and there. And I covered these pages, put in these little flags or I don't know what you call these. But anyway, just three, three different ones to make just a little tuck spot there. And then a journaling card. And there's a postcard here. I, th I showed you that postcard. And then just a little piece of ephemera um, from a scrapbook paper that I had there. And I did this page, but I don't have any of the big pockets, so I thought that's what we could work on today. So <clears throat> I'm going to set this aside. Oh, I'm going to actually leave it right there because I need it for this size. So I um, made some collages in my book here that we're going to use for the larger journaling cards and then I'm going to back them with this manila uh, paper. Um, I didn't back them already because I just thought once I get them cut down to the size I want them all back them. That way I'm not you know wasting more paper but it is very smart if you're just making a whole book of these collages to um, back them at the same time because I'm not uh, to rip from a weird angle there. I'm going to turn this around. Because um, then they're all done, you know, you just can cut them up and use them however. It's always interesting tearing pages out of the book. Just never know what's going to happen. <clears throat> I doubt I will use the whole full size, so I think it'll be alright. That little edge will I can trim off. <clears throat> So I hope you're all doing well. I hope you all had a lovely weekend. We did have a nice weekend. We mostly hung out here um, and, you know, just got some stuff done, but it was, it was nice. So for these pockets, we're going to need about probably five by... Probably five by eight, roughly, is what I'm thinking for the 
journaling cards that'll go in there. So let's cut one and see how we come out. Um, do it this way. It's just easier to cut <laughs> that way. So that would be five. These should be like eight and a half, right? A little bit more. Or no, they're like eight and a quarter. <clears throat> so I'm just going to trim a little bit off the top here then. And let's see if that fits before we cut any more. I'll try it in this one and see, and then I'll try it in a top loading one. Because they might be a bit tall still, yeah. Because when you glue both ends, you know you're altering the size of your page a little off the bottom. So yeah, I mainly just use different papers of alleys. So we'll go seven and three. Or no, what am I doing? Yeah, seven and three quarters. Sorry. <laughs> For a minute I was thinking I needed to do the sides. Um, different papers from Allie's kits, and um, if I had scraps of other stuff, I was using that too. Yeah, that'll fit just perfectly. Okay, and then the top loading. Let's make sure, because sometimes you have to do the top loader is a little bit taller. Well, there's a little loose spot right there. That is pretty common when you cut these down, that little strips like that sometimes will poke up. Yep, that seems to be about perfect for that too. And then there's another little spot. And this does happen um, that these little spots sometimes come up. You either had an air pocket or whatever. And um, it is glue stick, which these glue sticks are the best glue sticks I've ever found. The Scotch Create that I use. Um, but still, you know, sometimes you get a little dry spot or a spot you didn't quite get all the way glued. So I do go back over and check my books, but that does happen. Okay. So yeah, I hope you're all having a had a great weekend and having a good day and all that. And I'm sorry I didn't make it. What am I doing? Put that away and I need it. Um oh, and on Friday that I just got kind of consumed with making the cover and I wanted to get it finished up. So So five is what we said, right? I just want to make sure because I do that stuff and then I cut it wrong. Five. Oh, I kind of want that flower. Oh, I will be definitely using this cutter, you know, quite a bit today. So if it's not your favorite thing in the world, then you can fast forward or whatever. Seven and three quarters. On this side, I just want to just fix that edge because it's a little roughly, which I like, but since the rest of it isn't, you know, it doesn't really make sense to have it like that. And I like those. And then we'll add some other things to them too, so that's not all we're going to do is cut these up and back them. We're going to do some other stuff too. Bottom seems to be the flatter part, so I'm going to keep on using that kind of as my guide. Trim this a bit. There we go, seven and three quarters.
perfume bottles on there. I don't really mind this that much. Let's see if I cut it at five over here. It's a little close. So I'm going to actually cut a little bit off of both sides. <clears throat> so yeah, I know this isn't a very um, exciting thing, but you know, this is all part of how we do these altered books. So or how I do them. I can't really say we, but that's how I do them. I'm going to cut a little off the bottom just to straighten it out. And seven and three quarters. Let's see, so I got rid of my little tear that I had. And I'm going to need six of these or more, so uh, I'm only going to get six out of this batch of papers, but Keep on going here. Just make sure I get them straight. I'm going to go a little over because I'm going to fix this side. Five. I don't even have any good stories or anything to tell. It's just been kind of nutty, just like. I don't know. Like I've had to take my son to the doctor a couple of times. He's got stomach problems, like he's lactose intolerant. But we know that. But now he's kind of developed something else that I don't know, we're trying to figure out what he can't eat now. <laughs> so it's just kind of been, I don't know. I really kind of think this, like, not intentionally, or, you know, not that people are aware of, I mean, some people may be aware of it, but this whole, everything that's going on, it's just really <laughs> bothering people psychologically, and I think that that is kind of part of it. Just, kids aren't hanging out with their friends as much, and they just don't get to see people as much. I don't know. It's just everything's such a mess. So like it's affecting all of us in different ways. Okay, so what do we want to do to this one? So this is just going to be kind of decorating up these cards, basically. <clears throat> so we probably won't get to a whole lot else today because it always takes a bit to do this. If I even get them all done, it'll be a miracle. So I have some of these are pretty. I got those from... I don't remember. World of Muchness, I think is what she's called. I saw her on Instagram and saw she made those little things and thought they might be fun. Um, don't need those. Oh, and I did make up some packets of, you know, these um, pockets, tag pockets, in different sizes. Um, like a set of 12. I have one more in my shop, so if you're interested in anything like that. <clears throat> That's one of the things I did this weekend. I like that um, calling, or not calling card, um, cabinet card. <laughs> <clears throat> Easy for me to say, right? The problem I have with these sometimes is that they're so big that it just seems like I don't know what to put on them quite often. So, I do like that one, but I don't know about the perfume bottle at all. This one might be kind of cool because it's kind of plain down at the bottom. And then the, the lady up there, but it'll cover up all my music. Because I don't want to cover her up. Yeah, that wouldn't be bad, though. I could put something else there, too. <clears throat> I've got all kinds of little things cut out from TaylorMade Journals. Her Victorian scrap, and then she has a spring... I can't remember what it's called, but anyway. There's men's shoes. 
That's from my um, price tag digital. See, this is why this takes me so long, because I get dinking around with everything. I do kind of like that ad. I don't know if that's the right one, though, because it's kind of big. That one's fun with the old car on it. And the ladies in their hats and that. Kind of like that. Better. And then I'll stitch around these two and put uh, fabric at the top that'll stick out of wherever. I just need to decide where I'm going to put each card before I do that. So, so I know if it's side or top. Yeah, this is my cabinet cards. This is in my price tag digi. So if you have those, then you have these images. I'm going to kind of wrinkle this one up a little bit. These are also in my um, Ada Digi, um, in the paper. They're not each individual one like this, but they're in that one as well, so. Okay. I'm all out of sorts this morning for some reason. I think that's pretty common. Every time I do a video, I feel like I'm out of sorts. <laughs> Even after all this time, somebody was, oh, I know, it was Carol Laws. Hi, Carol. I was watching her, um, you know, she's starting to do some more, like, tutorial-type videos, which are awesome. And um, she was saying she's nervous. And I totally understand, because I still sometimes get nervous, even though I've been doing this for, like, gosh, it's going on four years this summer. So, yeah, it's kind of crazy when I think about that. But... Yeah, she was saying she gets so nervous. It's like, oh, I totally get it because I still, even if I'm not nervous, I just get kind of, um, like I said, out of sorts or just I feel like I don't know what I'm doing or I get tunnel vision a lot too. Like I can only see like right here. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. It's all silly. So if you are wanting to do videos and but you feel like you can't because you get too nervous or whatever, I mean, I think all of us, go through that. I don't think it's, you know, don't think you can't do it because you probably will do just fine. It just takes some getting used to and you've seen me mess up plenty. So it's just, oh, let's back it first. It's just sort of the way it is. <laughs> and it seems silly at this point, but I still definitely get a little anxious or whatnot. You know, I'm not even going to tear that because it needs to cover all the way to the edge because of the, how white this is. So we're just going to glue it entirely and trim around it. But yeah, so don't think you can't because you get nervous because I think everybody does. I think it's very normal. Even sometimes like if I stop for a while, a few days, like I did kind of at Christmas time, you know, to have Christmas with my family and stuff. Um, then when I come back, even though it's only been a couple of days, I feel nervous too. Or doing something new or something that I haven't done before on camera, all that kind of stuff. So, I mean, I tend to be an introvert, which I'm sure you guys have gathered by listening to me. But, um, so, you know, I don't love attention drawn to myself as it is, but I do definitely get nervous. But I like coming and chatting with all you guys, it's fun. It's fun and I love to read the comments and see what you guys are up to and you're all just lovely, lovely people. definitely not perfect and nobody is so I 
would say really anybody can do this if they want to. The biggest thing I really think is true is just um, that you've got to like stick with it and you really do need to make videos fairly often because I just feel like otherwise people don't, um, you know, they lose interest or whatever if you're gone too long kind of stuff. If you're just haphazardly doing it, it's, I think it's hard to get a very good following. But I think if you are pretty regular, that would be my best advice. And just to, you know, be yourself. Don't try to be somebody you're not. That's always, that's good advice in any realm of life. Because this is definitely who I am. All deaniness included. But you guys are awesome. You are always very kind to me no matter what silly mistakes I make that day. I've had a few Lulus, so... cover up, you know, that up there. So I think I'm going to leave it like that and stitch around it and put some fabric at the top and hope that it straightens itself out here. That's the only thing is they do curl with the glue, but usually they straighten out fine. I can put them under something. Okay, so now we have this lovely one. And we could use this lady somewhere possibly. Kind of like her right there. I always feel like these are weird because they're cut off, and I know that's just the way they are, but this one, I guess she could go there. But this one's even, I think, a tiny bit taller, maybe? Yeah, she's from halfway down her legs, so she is a little bit taller. Do we want anything else on there? Like maybe a fan. Flowers. Oh, on the third umbrella is pretty too. She's got pink flowers on her dress. I feel like this one's head's really flat at the top. I don't know why that is. I think I like that. And then maybe uh, I'll put like a piece of doily or something down here. I just don't like that the way it's so um, cut off looking. I can scoot her up a tiny bit more if I do that. Just kind of do a corner sort of thing. perfume bottles all the time because I do like do like those something like that would be good okay let's do that So this week, they're, tomorrow, they're going to bring the table that the Glow Forge is going to go on. We just got a kind of a cheapy table at more furniture, just something to put it on 
that would be stable enough and lift it up off the floor. So I need to bring that tomorrow. So I'm excited to get that. So I may end up filming two videos today. One for today and one for tomorrow so that um, you know I've got that all done. And don't have to worry about trying to get interrupted or something while I'm doing a video. It's very quiet here this morning. It's kind of nice. It's fairly early. I don't know why it bothers me that they're cut off at the bottom, but it does, so. I don't know why I moved my glue book out of the way. I always manage to make a mess of my glue doilies. And I try putting the, the glue on first, you know, but then I feel like it's always sticking out where I don't want it and um, it leaves those like shiny spots and I don't like that. Like it will even leave a shiny spot right there on that part. And I don't like it when that happens. So... You can see through that too, so you could put a fan here. That would be kind of fun to have it gone the other way. And these, again, are from TaylorMade Journals. I think this was Spring is in the Air is what this, the one's called with the fans. But you can just look at her different. If you go to her website or her Etsy shop, and um, I'll link it in the description box below, but... If you go there and uh, type in German scrap in the part that says, you know, to search the shop or whatever, um, all her kits with the German scrap will show up. And then that way you can choose, you know, whatever one you want because she's got all different ones. Okay, where did my... Jeez. See, there went, there went the tunnel vision right there. Okay, so I like that. And we'll round the corners on that too. Oops, throw it back it. So I'm excited because lots of you have said you're doing altered books, and I think that's so fun. Like I said, I would love to see images if you have Instagram or whatever. Just let me know because I like stuff like that. I was watching Gail Agostinelli um, yesterday, and she, you know, is doing her tag challenge that uh, Rachel Roxy Creations started, and um, she was using all her bright, colorful background tags, 
And at first when she brought those out, I was like, oh my goodness, I wonder what she's going to do because they're like super bright. Not that there's anything wrong with bright. I just don't tend to use a lot of brights. And she was saying the same thing, that she doesn't tend to use a whole lot of brights in journals either. Um, and she made the coolest tags. Oh my gosh, Gail, I just loved those if you see this video. Was, those were awesome. And she used um, images of Alphonse, I think it's Mo Mucha. <laughs> she was having the same problem. She didn't know how to say it either. I don't know how to say it, so I apologize if I said it wrong. But anyway, the art uh, kind of deco or art nouveau um, style, they turned out really cool. I was amazed because they just started out so bright. I was like, I don't know what in the world. I wouldn't know where to begin with those. And I don't know why I don't use bright colors. It's not that I don't like them. I just tend to stick in that kind of lighter neutral sort of area for some reason. I tend to be drawn towards like softer kind of colors, I think. Those turned out amazing. Yeah, I'm liking why these are coming out. So I hope you guys are liking this. Let's see what name we got. Right, 30, 31. So we're doing okay, but we probably won't get through all of these. <laughs> Okay, so there is a lady right there. I don't know. This one's kind of haphazard all over the place. This little girl is cute. I don't want to cover up the lady though. I need something that's maybe longer. I don't know that I have a whole lot going that other direction is the problem. I could do one of these. Those ones from the calling cards, but they're still not very, it's not very much. Everything I have is up and down. It's always that way, you know, when you need something going the other direction, everything's always going the wrong way. Feels like. I thought I had another page of, no, that's not, there always has to be one that totally gets me, see that's going to be going the wrong way too, I could just kind of put a piece, I don't have to use the whole thing, these are from, um, A lot of flowers. <laughs> That's a lot of flowers. Oh, this, these birds go this way. That would work. I can't think of who does these. If you can remember or you know, you know what I'm talking about, just let me know. It'll come to me maybe. I put this on another card, but I really like her. <laughs> She's fabulous. That wouldn't be bad, even though there's a lady there. I don't hate that. This bird better. Mm -hmm. Kind of like those birds. All right, let's do that. That's from the cigarette card. The edge is far too straight. I'm 
I'm gonna use a little piece of this braille. This or uh, yeah, this was braille. This is from Joe Beth. Thank you, Joe Beth. I hope you're doing okay, sweetheart. It's kind of fun. Just want a little piece. Let's do kind of down the center here, and I'll save the other piece for somewhere else. Just like the little texture of that. I don't want to add a whole bunch of, of thickness like you know I could use a cluster of fabric or all kinds of things on these but because those pockets are so long and everything I just don't want to get stuff all caught up in there. I just don't want it to be too thick, you know? Hmm. Kind of gets lost there. Oh, let's try it and see what it looks like. So yeah, I just don't want to add too much bulk to those. Oh, I will round the corners again. I mean, that does add a little with the little bumpies, but this glue's about done. Got some more on order, but I have another one. Just one more. It goes through so much glue. It is insanity. Somebody was asking me, and I don't remember who, so I do apologize, but um, if the glues that I use last a long time, and it's like, I don't know that any glue would last me a long time. <laughs> I mean, they last as well as anything else, but... I just, it's constant. I think tacky glue probably lasts me the longest, but that's really just because I don't use it as much as the art glue, glitter glue or this. This is what I go through the most. Because that's pretty much daily that I use that. That is getting too sticky. This cracks me up this roller skate with the hedges on it. Okay, let's back that one. That one didn't take too horribly long. There was kind of already a lot of stuff going on on that one, so. It didn't need much. This has been fun doing this altered book. I forget how fun they are because I don't do them all the time. And then I do one and it's like, ooh, I want to do another one. <laughs> I might do another one. Um, like I was mentioning, I kind of want to do a more of a masculine journal. So I think that might be coming up after I do a Valentine's journal. Sticky scissors. <laughs> I'll have to clean them off with some rubbing alcohol. Oh, what 
in there. Okay, we are cruising now. I'm just going to go ahead and back this right now. <laughs> so I got this sitting right here. I don't think I need to do a whole ton to that first one we cut, but I will add something to it. It's gone, gone, gone. the new ones because I haven't goobered it all up yet. <laughs> I always get glue all the way around the edge. Sloppy, sloppy crafter. I always have glue and uh, ink on my fingers too. get air bubbles. It seems like no matter what you do, there's either an air bubble between this layer and the middle layer or the middle layer and the back layer, it seems like. <clears throat> I'll wait on that. Okay, what are we going to put on this one? I'm back to her again with her kind of flattish head. I don't know why. It's like that. These are kind of cool. These ladies. They would be good on there. It's a little big. Oh, bird's cute. I could use the little bird. That would work. I feel like I need some sayings or something. I'll have to print some stuff out. I don't have anything printed out right now. I might add other things to these later. This is just an image I found on Pinterest. I love these. Like they go to the horse races or whatever and get all dressed up with those hats and everything. It's super cool. Like a little lace, something. This is some really fine lace, so I think it would go nicely there. Yeah, I like that better. All right. See, so if you collage these uh, large cards like this, they are a little bit easier to decorate because you don't need 
as much, you know, going on, which is nice. This will probably get caught in the stitch when I stitch it, so that'll be good. That'll help hold it in place. <laughs> Jules is talking to the kids out there. Yeah, I feel like it needs something, so I'll have to see if I can find some little phrases or something like that would work. Like I said, you don't want to make them too thick for going in and out of those, especially those big top loading pockets, because that can be really tricky getting them in and out of there without catching them on everything. And it does help to round the corners. That um, does make them slide in and out of those big pockets easier, because then you're not having the corners getting caught all the way down the pocket. That is helpful. We'll do one more and then we will call it a video. These would be kind of cute on this. I do not know why it is completely escaping me where these are from. But I'll put it in the description box. So all all the stuff I use. And if you don't see something, just let me know. I think I just like that one, so that's what I'm gonna go with. The bottom's kinda wacky here. I don't know why I can't think of that. Everybody was using it for a while. And you guys are probably screaming it at me right now, but I just cannot think of what it's called. But anyway. This is pretty white, this um, card. I'm just going to do a little bit of distressing. Oh, and I did, like I said, um, I keep having people message me on Etsy, which is awesome and totally fine, but um, about where to get ink. And I did, I did manage to find some, so thank you all so much. You guys are awesome. Always trying to help me out because I'm sitting in a basket case. <laughs> I kind of feel like that's thick. It needs a little something with that. Maybe a piece of this eyelet. Feels like it needs to be pink. There's too much of that same tone right there. I think that's what's bugging me. I like the eyelet, but I could use it as a topper. Yeah, that's better.
probably should have done this on the last one. Used dark glitter glue. I forgot. Um, sometimes when you have things that stick up, you know, with the lace or whatever, it's kind of good to use a wet glue rather than the glue stick. It just tends to stick a little better. But that other one will have a stitch running through it too, so there's that. Let's see a little bit more of this. <laughs> I actually don't mind it to be a little crinkly, ruffly, whatever. Okay. And then I kind of think it would be fun to put one of these on there. Um, that might be too big. This one's probably even bigger, huh? Yeah, I don't know, it just kind of looks weird. That one's a little bit better. Maybe I'll use that one. And you can totally see all these do not matchy-match each other, but um, it's kind of the awesome part of junk journaling is it, it works for whatever reason. At least I like it. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't work at all. But I like the way it looks when you kind of have a mix of stuff. But there is a little blue in the boot and a little blue right here. And it ends up working. Okay. Back that one. So we got almost all done. Not too bad. So yeah, this is my best advice for doing filling those big pockets, unless you've got some already like made up large tags or something like that to put in those. But this just works real well to make a bunch of collage paper. And, and if you don't want them this big, you can cut them, you know, more like a tag shape and however you want, so there's all different ways to do these. Just the way I like to do it. There's really no right or wrong, so just do it the way you like it. I just like to give you guys some ideas. And I'll probably try to do a flip through. It'll probably be Wednesday when I do the flip through for this because tomorrow we'll do the, um, what do you call it? The pocket, the, the tome of concepts, the ephemera idea journal, which has been awesome for me because I've been wanting to do that forever and I just never did. So thank you to Dee Dee for starting that up because that motivated me to do it. And I really like having it in just a big binder. I think that's that'll be great because I can add stuff and I can easily take stuff out and look at it to you know see remember how I made it kind of thing. So yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed that and got to hang out and craft with me because that's really what this was today. 
and we will see you tomorrow with the uh, TCTC challenge. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye now.